No, I'm not lost. I've got my GPS here with me. So I know exactly where I am on the planet's surface. But you know where I am? I'm actually on an old sandbar. Look at this. Sand. Why did the sand get here? Well, the sand is here because it's an old sandbar from an old river meander. If you look off in the distance here, you see that there's some trees that have grown up here, but by and large, there's a lot of sand. That's because the Red River here, which is the boundary between Texas and Oklahoma, by the way, in this in this location, is uh, running through this, this area. But in, in this spot, obviously the Red River does not flow right now. But it did in the past, and we know that because of all this sand that's here. As rivers move, they do two things. They move from upstream to downstream. That part's pretty obvious. But they also move from side to side. So over, over time, the river has moved across this wide valley. Now, it doesn't look like much of a valley in terms of what you might think of in terms of a mountain valley. But if you look off in the distance over there, you can see some, uh, uh, some higher land out over there. And uh, that higher land is the edge of the floodplain. This whole area in here is the floodplain of the Red River. And over time, the Red River has, has moved from side to side across this whole valley, as many rivers, as most rivers actually do, uh, across the world. So it's, uh, there's a reason for this uh, sand to be here, and it's all because of, well, it's all because of geography, right? Uh, in this case, physical geography. But there's also some cultural geography here because the old settlers, as they moved across here, thought this uh, floodplain, this river, was so significant that they designated it the boundary between Oklahoma and Texas. So there you have it. It's all because of cultural and physical geography.